following video has been rated as 15. This means that anyone seeing this message that is under the age of 15 years should click off this video now. YouTubers, this is TuTube and welcome back to another episode of The Human Behind the Rabbits. Um, first of all, I should apologise for how late this episode is going to be out. That's because I had no plan for this episode. Like, I kind of did, but then I kept changing my mind and I kind of thought what life was like while living on the Isle of Wight. Then I sort of changed my mind into my sort of ambitions in life and what I do want to do for the future but I feel like that's that part's been covered on a previous episode so what I thought of doing is basically telling you what life was like for me during the Covid lockdown so as we all knew things basically had to stop like when lockdown happened, everything had to stop. Everyone had to stay inside, stay home, don't make unnecessary journeys and all that. And that came at a pretty big price. So I, at the time of when lockdown hit, I was in my last year of performing arts at college. And what normally happens at in our second year of level three, at the end of the year, we get to do a end of year show. And believe me, all of me and my friends who have been in my vlogs, we were really looking forward to that. Please ignore that. That's the washing machine. But yeah, we we were already making plans of what we wanted to do. I myself had a couple of ideas I wanted to share. But unfortunately, thanks to COVID, that was not possible. Fuck you, COVID. It still pisses me off to this day that we didn't actually get a full-on end of year show, which is really sad. Um, another thing that I missed was spending vital time with the ability dogs. Um, we basically had monthly sessions where I'd basically have to basically get to spend time with some of the dogs and the people there get to know me as a person and that that was just not possible that that really really got my mental health in a really bad state um because i was basically missing all of that and it was the one thing that i would look forward to every month like i kid you not but um I think for the final episode of this series, I'm basically just going to full on talk about ability dogs for young people and what they do and how they've helped not only me, but so many other disabled children and young people on the Isle of Wight. Like, they're really, really, really great. Um, So I, I want to sort of get on to something that actually... Oh, what was I going to say? Oh shit. She's got brain fog again. Don't worry, fellow tubers. She'll be back soon. So during lockdown, I was basically living as part of a sort of post-19 program at St. Catherine's School on in Ventnor. I've basically been part of the sixth form there at first, but... Then before I wanted to basically, I, I didn't want to leave the Isle of Wight, if that makes sense. So I was basically still in need of support from them. So I became part of the post-19 program and I've basically sort of been, I've sort of become a role model for everyone else because during lockdown, while well, everyone else had to basically go home, go to the mainland and not come in. I was 
practically allowed to just stay there and live independently and live on my own terms as long as I didn't cause any havoc. So that was really good for my independence and the following year I was basically living in my own flat which was about last year. Basically spent the majority of the time that I wasn't vlogging there. So yeah, it was sort of like a step closer to living on my own completely independently. Like at the time of saying this, I'm living with my mum here in small bungalow. Um, yeah, so, oh, um, also I wanted to mention some of the games that I've been playing because I obviously needed to keep myself occupied, like being on in lockdown was going to be nearly impossible for me <laughs> if I didn't keep myself entertained. So one of the games I started playing that I didn't mention in the previous episode, Gamer Bunny, um, I started playing Sims 4 and... I was basically playing it on like a daily basis like I created my own sim that looked like me I made me to a sim that was fun um oh another game that I've also been playing at that time was a game on the Nintendo Switch and I believe it is on other platforms and it's called The Red Lantern and it's basically like a survival sort of game where you get your own sled team and you move all the way to Alaska and you basically have to survive in the Alaskan wilderness with your dogs and all of the dogs are basically individual I believe there's nine in total like you start with your own dog Chomper he was a favorite of mine and he comes with you to Alaska um if you want to find out more about the game, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. And yeah, I'd really recommend playing it. It's It took me a long time to basically complete the whole version of the game. But yeah, it's still one that I love to this day. And before I go, there was another game that I have recently been playing on my laptop is House Flipper. Um, I first got the game on my Switch, but I kind of got bored and some of the controls on the Switch were really glitchy. Like, my character would move around when I didn't want it to and when I wasn't touching, like, the joystick. And it just, it, it got on my nerves. And one of the things that, like, the lap, like, my MacBook Pro version has that the Switch hasn't got is DLCs and I've got the the Garden expansion pack and the Pets DLC and I've been sort of really having fun with that so that's what I've been basically playing a lot with um other than that I think that will basically do it for this episode. Would you like to do the famous outro of yours? Did you enjoy the video? If so, then I have something vital to say. Please like the video and subscribe to Chewtube's channel to see more fun videos. If you don't, I won't get my own show. So, please like and subscribe. Pretty please. Do you mind sharing the video as well? I can imagine myself having a show. Please don't crush my dreams. Thank you. <sighs> anyway, thanks for watching. Till then, Chit Mode out. I've planned nothing for this episode. <laughs>